Okay, so here it is. Um, this is called A Lazy Susan. Um, I picked this up from the uh, container store a couple weeks ago. Uh, the idea here is that we're going to incorporate this into the project. Um, we're going to put the electronics underneath in here, including the stepper motor. And then at the top, when we get around to it, what we're going to do is we're going to mount the antenna to the top. And the idea is as the stepper motor is being energized and being told to move either clockwise or counterclockwise, it will move this platform here at the top. And as this platform moves, of course, it's going to turn the antenna in the direction it needs to turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll the introduction here. And right after the introduction, we'll come right back and we'll start working on changing this Lazy Susan into our antenna mount. Alright, so let's get quickly into this. Um, before we actually go to using the Lazy say, Susan, we need to actually create, or I need to create a power supply design or come up with a power supply design. Uh, remember, we have two different parts of the circuits that need to be charged. We need to charge a digital part, which is going to need 5 volts, and then we need to charge a motor, which is going to need at least uh, somewhere in that range of um, 8, 7, 8 volts uh, from what I remember. All right, so what I'm going to need to do then is I'm going to need to design a power supply by using equipment or uh, parts that I have in my system or in my uh, collection here. And based on my uh, spreadsheet, what I've found is that I do have uh, 7805s, um, power um, voltage regulators. And for my 7805s, according to this, uh, my maximum voltage that I can put in is 25 volts, minimum voltage is 7, and FYI, the 7805 will give me an output of 5 volts. Now, given that um, I can use that, I'll go ahead and look up the, um, the circuit that I'll need to set up for that 7805, and according to the data sheet that I found online, I'll need to set up a circuit very similar to this right here, okay? All right, second, remember we, we have to power the motor also. So I looked in my collection or I looked on the data sheet and I found that I have a 34, uh, pardon me, 340-12, so which will give me 12 volts output. And it shows here that my maximum voltage input can be as high as 35 uh, volts, okay? And for my output regulator, I'm going to need a circuit very similar to this. So this is the voltage regulator here. May or may not need a capacitor here. May or may not need a capacitor here. Um, they do say uh, if, uh, let's see, you may need a point oh, a point 0.1 microfarad capacitor here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put that in there just for stability purposes. Um, the 22 microfarad, I will not put that in there because it said if the regulator is located far from the power supply and that's not the case, or at least I don't hope, I don't believe it's the case, so I won't add one in there. And in terms of power supply, here's what I'm going to use. I have an old Dell power supply that's in my cabinet um, or in my drawers according to my data sheet or my spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. It has an output voltage of 19.5 volts, which is within the range that we needed. And it uh, also has the ability to deliver up to 3.34 amps, which again was, is within the range that I need. All right, so this is great. So let's now go ahead and collect those parts.
All right, so now all the electronics are underneath the uh, Lazy Susan. And as you can see, there's no hole in the table there. So all is underneath. And this is the power supply, that Dell power supply that I had uh, in my collection of uh, power supplies there. And if you remember, I connected a uh, mono jack to that. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this in here. And I'm going to connect the other side here to a uh, power outlet. All right, so now it's connected to power outlet. You heard it move a little bit there. And so now this is my due north. Okay, that's my due north or zero degrees, I'm going to go ahead and turn oh, my tablet on here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and look for, scan for the Bluetooth here. Looks like we're going to have to scan again. There it is. So that'd be T05. And it's now saying that it's uh, been connected. And so now, given that we've done that, and there's a little bit of glare here, but bear with me. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead now. And so you'll notice that a one is already in there. And I've been testing this before, so FYI, I already know it works. So I'm going to hit the uh, send button to send a one. Oh, it said it lost the connection. Let's go ahead and connect it. All right, it's connected now. Now I can go ahead and send the one. And according to this, it should have gone 309 degrees, which seems to be about right. Going to send another one. And there it goes. All right, so now it should be at about 83 degrees, which it seems again to be about right. Send another one. All right, so. What this is telling us is that everything ended up working. Uh, we got our power supply underneath on this board. Uh, the power supply has a 12 volt source and a 5 volt source. A 5 volt source is used to uh, run our digital. 12 volt source is used to run the motor. Uh, we also put that A4988 chip on this board. And we also put the HM10 on this board. And that red LED that's on, that's the HM10. That's right there. And solid means that it's been, it's connected. And then of course the Arduino is actually on under there. Also you'll see that green light. That green light, uh, it's kind of hard to see over there. So everything is on. And so the project seems to work. The only thing we need to do now is we need to add, or pardon me, I need to add uh, the top piece on here. Uh, I could have put the old uh, piece from the Lazy Susan on, but what happened is in here, it's not making a good connection, so there's a little bit of play. So while the motor is turning, this is not turning as, as fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to order... Um, uh, some sort of a hub to connect to the shaft of the motor there and then I'm going to screw this down on top of the hub and then I'm just going to put the antenna on top. So what I'm thinking here is that rather than showing you that part because that actually is the least significant part of the whole thing I'm actually just going to put some instructions on the page to show you how that's done but honestly for the for the most part this project is uh, over. So I hope you enjoyed um, the building of the project. If you have any questions, uh, you can send those questions to my webpage, 
uh, put the, post them on uh, to me on my webpage, uh, or you can put comments at the bottom of YouTube.